Hello. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video and I'm sorry. I, uh, I got extremely ill the beginning week of chemo. I caught a bug off area. Oh. I've never been, nor do I ever want to be that ill ever again in my life. I um I kind of lost a couple of days before going into hospital. I don't remember going into hospital. What I do remember is, thank you Lisa, I, I don't know what I wouldn't have done that night without you. Daryl said you really did take good care of me while I was zombied out in the front seat of your car, just bobbing everywhere. But thank you. Um, I've not had a good couple of weeks with my chemo. I've had sickness. I've had bad bowels. My, my bowels have taken a pretty massive beating, if I'm to be honest. I've had sickness. I've had low magnesium. Um, I've had to have two infusions now, but I'm still here, still knowing my family, and I'm two weeks left of chemo, so it's good. Um, I do get days where I'm completely zapped, um, so literally it's taken me this time to get back up on my feet. Um, after being so ill, um, I, if anybody knows me, they know my needle phobia is quite severe. You know, I'm, oh, I turn and I'm scared. Daryl informed me when I was in the hospital. I didn't even flinch when they put the needle in my arm. They did. One side they couldn't get in, didn't flinch, and they got another side in. And uh, I didn't flinch at all, I was completely out of it. I think it took about six to eight bags of saline fluids to bring me around. I was very dangerously dehydrated. Um, yeah, I was in hospital from the Friday to the Monday. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do my chemo, I thought I wasn't be able to do my radiotherapy. Turned out I could, which was good. Um, it's been a hard three weeks, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. You yeah. know, lack of sleep. I'm missing my food. But there's just nothing that satisfies my, uh, my appetite. I um, had curry, <gasps> curry and rice for tea last night. Well, literally, it took me about half an hour to eat that. I ate it really slow. Tonight, I'm just going to have cereal. Um, and just chill out. I'm going to go for a bath in a bit. Um, but pff, I can't even wonder if I've lost weight during all this. Um, but yeah, it's, once again, I've got my little hoard with me, look, Henry, Mindy, who's now just got up to disappear, Lola, and the two dogs, don't they? Odin has been there, uh, protective. It's been, um, it's not been a nice few weeks. Two seconds. Babe. Mm -hmm. Can you get me my tablet and my milk, please? Yeah, the nose up the phone, but it's stuck on that. It's been since last night. Take the battery out. Can you? Yes. You can on that, don't you? I'm just doing a blog. Okay. Seems like it's tail. Wake up, yeah. Daryl's showing his Pokemons off. Kid. Can you get my Ondansetron and my... Uh, Cyclazine with some milk, please. I don't know how to. 
You'd not think I'm going to blog. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> the early, early mornings have been taken out of me. I'm not going to lie. I not got long, got up at 10 to 7. I went to lie on the bed at 3 and watched Jadrinda. And I fell asleep about 4, quarter past 4. I woke up at 10 to 7. It really does, uh, it really does take it out of you. You don't care what anyone says. And I've noticed that I'm feeling the cold now pretty much quite a bit. But my mother-in-law had a special chemo blanket made for me and it's brilliant. I put it on last night, oh, it was super warm. So that's going to be my saviour. These are long winter nights. Um, yeah, my 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 tablet intake has got massive. Look, Daryl forgot my milk. Daryl now remembered my milk. And we've got a little bit of a protest upstairs because Ari doesn't want to go to sleep. But bedtime is bedtime. She's got to go to bed. Oh. I've been living off milk. That's when Lola doesn't try and steal it. Hey, Lola. Hey. He loves trying to steal my milk, he does. Um, I am going to try and start doing my blogs. Um, now that I've got myself kind of back on my feet a bit. Um, the nausea is calming down, but the sickness isn't. But I'd rather the sickness than the nausea, because I can deal with being sick and then bouncing back and feeling okay after that. I can deal with that. I can't deal with the constant feeling of nausea. Two seconds. So, um, I, um, I'm now on two anti-sickness tablets. One being cyclosine and, is it working now? Yeah. One being cyclosine and one being, uh, on Dancitron. I've also got tablets for my bowels, tablets for pain. I still have to take the pill. Yeah. So, oh. don't know why. I suppose that's a. Uh, until I start going into the menopause or if they give me a hysterectomy, I'll still have to take it. It's one of the delightful things about this, I'll go into menopause at 32. I'm really not looking forward to that. That's ready. Oh, she's having a kick off. Um, I just need to take my zoom off. You don't use that? I've done my cyclazine. I haven't done my own citron yet. Which one is it then? Look, I also trying to steal my milk. Ugh. No, Daryl, it's that purple. That um, one. Oh yeah. Undone citron. Citron. One. Yeah. Elsa's proper trying to steal my milk then. Little bugger. Oh, thanks, Henry. I'm just sat there playing with his toes and he decides to clean them. Little bugger. Watch her little paw now. Look. She's so cute. She's licking around the edge of the glass. I've had my date for my internal radiotherapy as well, which I'm not looking forward to. And that's kind of towards the end of September. Um, 
I had that explained to me the other day and it doesn't sound delightful at all. But, end game. Um, I've got a MRI scan on the 8th, which I'm hoping is going to determine that the cancer, quite a fair bit of it has gone because before I used to have to take a, a quite a wide range of, um, pardon me, painkillers. I was on 40 milligrams of sapping, uh, of a zoom off, two zapping, a brufrain and oromoff. Now I'm only on 30 milligrams of zoom off. So that, that, that pain relief has come back. Look, 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 look. Look how cute he does it, look. How cute is that? He just dips his little feet in. He's always done it like that. But yeah, so my, my pain relief has come down. Drastically. Um, my hip doesn't hurt as much anymore. And I'm able to sleep better. The only problem I have right now... Sorry. At night time is the amount of times I wake up for a pee. And when I have to run back to bed really quick because I'm cold. And still, the hot sweats. The hot sweats, I can't take them. They drain me within a matter of minutes. And I mean, I'm completely drained. But I'm speaking to a woman on Facebook that I've made friends with. And that's all part and parcel of it. Um, and on observation, she actually went through quite a bit more than what I did, like, symptom-wise. So when I take a step back and I look at it, she had a good five to six symptoms. Which she told me about this afternoon. I'm not going to say your name, <laughs> But thank you for being there for me. Um, I've got three. I've got the hot sweats, the sickness and nausea, and the painful bowels and dodgy bowels that I have to take tablets for. But other than that, that's all. You know, I've been quite lucky. As you can see, I've not lost a lot of my hair, which is, you know... I'm very lucky in that sense, I, I haven't, I don't know if afterwards it's all going to kind of come out or what, but I've been quite lucky. It does come out little bits, as you can see, you can probably see there, come out strand and strand like that. But I haven't had loads of, the nurses pre-warned me about chunks coming out of my pillow, it's not happened. The only thing I can't stand at night is the hot sweats as well. My pillows, I need to get new pillows tomorrow, mine are a bit hot and sweaty. But um, it's um, halfway through, near enough, of the, the chemo. The worst bit, I feel, is the chemo. Because that's the chemicals that they pump into you and that's what makes you feel sick. But you know, the, the nurses on the chemo ward, can't fault them, they're lovely. They really are. They're, they're, they're just, they just know how to relax you and they know what they're doing, you Daryl. They're really good there. You know, this Tuesday just been, I couldn't get, they couldn't get a vein. They couldn't. They tried for about an hour and a half. In the end, they got the, uh, the specialist in that does the, um, the, um, pick lines. And she found a vein straight away, straight in, done. But, um, I can't fault anybody in that hospital. And it was, I, I, I had a, um, an appointment with Dr. Bishop the other day and I asked her, if the radiotherapy and everything could be working as fast as we think it's working and our answer was yes it can do so and she's lovely she's so reassuring with her words and how she speaks to you it's you know she, without trying to sound nasty she kind of dumbs things down for you because you can say she can say things in the high medical terms and i'm going to sit there and be like yeah i'm not a doctor i don't know but she brings it down to me. She explains what's going to happen. She has explained that it's going to hurt when they take the tubes out um, with the internal radiotherapy. It's not going to be pleasant. And I'm I'm one of them people I'd rather give it, you'd give it to me straight and tell me it's going to hurt you rather than me find out and panic. But she has advised me 
we do give you gas and air when it happens. That stuff's brilliant. I can give, I, I've given birth on that stuff, so, you know, if I can birth a baby on that stuff, I can have tubes taken out of me on that stuff. Daryl's just sat there like, oh God, what's she talking about? We've still got a protest going upstairs, she's screaming. She's definitely my daughter. She knows how to make a fuss. Oh, and she's a little madam now. She goes out to people now. But, um, I'm looking forward to when all this is over because around the time that this finishes, you see, it falls around my birthday. Well, this finishes the middle of October. My birthday is the middle, well, kind of the middle of November. I'm going to give myself that month to get myself back to normal. Then I'm going to go out for a birthday meal and relax. And you know, I'm super excited as well that um, my brother's coming home soon. I get to see him. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can all get together for some dinner or something. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that. It's just a bit of a catch up, really, saying how things are going. So I'm going to go for a bath. Because I've got a bit of a bad tummy. I'm going to go and lie in the bath for a bit. I'll try and blog again tomorrow. Bye.